This is presented by HPS Trade, Japanese freight forwarder in Thailand. Hello, it's Eno. Today, I'd like to explain the method for transporting overgauge cargo, a cargo which does not fit inside the container. About 70 years ago, it was common to use bulk vessels to transport cargo, before container transportation was introduced. A container ship is a vessel used to transport cargo inside of 20 feet or 40 feet containers. As long as it fits into the container, the volume of cargo doesn't matter, therefore you can transport at low cost. The history of container transport was explained previously, so please check out the link in the comment section. It's one of the most recommended videos among my collection. So, how do we transport cargo which doesn't fit into a container? By the way, the size of a 40 feet high cube container is, it's about Width 2.3 meters Height 2.7 meters Length 12 meters Actually, most cases of overgauge cargoes that do not fit in the containers are Transportation of machinery, plants, long metal goods and large building equipment Overgauge cargoes are unique in weight and volume and they are required to be transported in special containers, which are not required for normal cargo. These are the three main special containers. 1. Open top containers, no top roof. 2. Flat rack containers, no roof or long side walls. 3. Flat bed containers, no roof, just floorboards. Let's take a closer look. Open top containers do not have a roof, so the cargo can be handled by cranes. The container is suitable for transporting heavy, long and tall goods. Also, the top parts will be covered by a tarp to prevent rain and sea water entering. Flat rack containers are containers without a roof or long side walls. As there is no roof in long side walls, only front and end walls, it provides flexible options to load cargo. Actually, the big advantage is being able to load the cargo from the sides. With normal dry containers, you can only load cargo from the back door. When there is heavy cargo, the forklift will be required to enter the container to load the cargo at the bulkhead. When this operation occurs, a platform will be required for the forklift to enter the container. However, if you are able to load cargo from the side, the platform will not be required. The forklift can load and unload cargo from the side, which means vanning and devening process will be much more effective. Heavy cargo such as machinery requires extra attention to load, and can be dangerous, so it is important to have this special characteristic. Now, another advantage of these flat rack and flatbed containers are, they are also utilized for cargo that can fit into a container, which is called engaged cargo. Engage means, sizes that fit within a container. Actually, there are some engaged cargo which is difficult for loading. What you need to understand is, if you use the flat rack and flatbed container for engaged cargo, you will be able to get the cheaper cost than using it for overgauge cargo. Please imagine the picture of containers on a vessel. Containers are loaded onto the vessel without any gaps. If there were overgauge cargo, it takes more space on the vessel. However, Engaged cargo requires the same size and space as other dry containers, so compared to the overgauge cargo, the price will be cheaper. Lastly, flatbed containers are containers with floorboards only. It is useful to transport cargo which exceeds the container length and width. Flatbed containers can be combined to transport one big cargo, and the floor is strengthened for transporting heavy cargo. Once flat rack and flatbed containers are loaded, the cargo need to be protected with tarp and covers from rain and sea water. Let's summarize today's topic. Cargo which does not fit in a 40 feet container is transported, in a special container called over gauge container. There are the three main special containers. 1. Open top containers. 2. Flat rack containers. 3. Flatbed containers. Open top containers have no roof, and are suitable to transport tall cargo, they can be loaded from the top using cranes. Flat rack containers have no roof or long sides, and they are suitable for transporting wide cargo.
as there are no walls and they are flexible in terms of load and unload. They can also be used for engaged cargo. Lastly, flatbed containers have no walls at all, and are suitable to transport long-sized and cargo. They are made to transport heavy goods like machinery, and another characteristic is that the floorboards have been strengthened. This time, I talked about the containers used to transport overgauge cargo. Next time, I would like to talk about the method used to choose a freight forwarder to transport overgauge cargo. That's all for today. Thank you. In this channel, I explain about international logistic knowledge for your better understanding. I hope this video will be a good support for your logistic job. If you have any shipment from Thailand or to Thailand, please feel free to contact me Inosan anytime. Also, I'm very motivated to keep updating these videos. If you subscribe, press good or comment anything. Well, thank you. See you next time.